In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop for free. This method will work on Windows or Mac, whatever you're using. You don't need to download anything and also don't need to worry about using any cracks. All you got to do is open any browser, Google Chrome, Safari or any other. Then you need to go to this link, photopea.com. This page will open up. Click on start using photopea. And here's the software. You can open all the following file formats. You can upload a file from your computer or create a new project. You can see all these different size presets that you can choose from. Or you can manually put your required size in here. After that, click on create. You also get a lot of free templates in here. You have many categories on the left side. And then you can choose your required template. To customize the template, you need to click on this link at the bottom. And it'll create a new file. Now this is a totally legal alternative to Photoshop software because the person who has built this has used his own programming. And you have all the Photoshop tools available on the left side bar. You have a layers panel here. You might see some ads on the right side bar because the person who is giving this software for free need to make a living. And that totally makes sense. I can click on this mod object and it will open in a new tab. It works exactly like Photoshop. Now let's go back. I am gonna upload a mockup template file from my laptop. And there it is. All these layers and groups are exactly shown as in my Photoshop. I can expand this group, double click on this mod object and I am gonna place my own artwork in here. I will simply drag my design into the browser. I will scale it down. I will create a new layer and move it underneath. I am gonna put a black color on it. Let me hide the other layers. I am gonna save this mod object. Now if I go back, you can see the updated artwork in here. I can go into this other group and change the lid color to orange. You can save it by going to the file, export as and select your required format. You can adjust the details if you want. Click on save. And the file has been downloaded. So that's it guys, try it yourself and share your experience in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos. I'll see you in the next one, have a great day.